Archive.org at one time would archive the YouTube videos. This was sometimes easier or harder to do with JW Player, Flash Player, or whatever it called itself at the time. Now, one of the website subsections under Archive.org included these were discovered by searching for YouTube links on Twitter primarily. And it's part of a whole group called YouTube Crawl and Some Year. This is a project at one time because YouTube is used for a ridiculous amount of very influential content that just disappears because YouTube shits on people or they decide to erase their pages. Now, a specific thing I would want to do is retrieve my stuff after YouTube angrily erases things. But they also go out of their way to make sure you can't archive the pages at all now. They're very unfriendly to being archived. And remember, it was never really about protecting you from having your stuff stolen or be, you being able to get some Metallica song free. Anyway, uh, I've gone through and looked at all of my old YouTube channels that were archived because I could go ahead and manually tell archive.org, would you please archive my stuff? And also, don't get me started on them erasing shit because some rando requests it. But in my specific example here that I was trying to do, besides my channel and my YouTube Google destruction of my WAPTEC pages, WAPTEC Resurrection, was a specific video that there was two versions of I found out today. Real PVC pipe 12-gauge shotgun. Will it explode? January 14th, 2015. Royal Nonsuch. Episode 29. I demonstrate the dangers of using this plastic pipe as a gun barrel. Don't attempt this. Do yourself a favor and don't attempt to do anything you see me do on this video. It's very dangerous and should only be done by a professional YouTubers like myself. Translation. I'm going to do the dumbass thing you might have been looking up so that you vicariously don't have to do it. And you'll see how useful it is. Now most rational sane people this works on. And more importantly, someone's going to come up with the idea anyway because you'll notice, if you're not aware of it, depending on where you buy it from, it'll be called Schedule 40 or Schedule 80, which will be the thickness of the tubing. But CPVC or PVC tubing can actually chamber a shotgun shell very well. And if it chambers it really well and the rest of the pipe is the same diameter, that's actually the least likely to blow up situation. And in his demonstration, he put that same piece of pipe inside of a steel pipe so it wouldn't blow up at all to test really the remainder of the barrel to see if it would react badly, and did it several times. Now, I'm trying to find that video, and he did it in a way I wouldn't do. He pointed it level with the ground. Now, there are pluses and minuses to doing that, especially since he was aiming it at a berm at a gun range. But the way I would test any kind of questionable material, and deliberately testing things to destruction, which is where I got this information from and experience, is you put a barrel in a shooting pit or shot pit, it's a hole in the ground that's well deeper than the length of a barrel, make it at least four feet deep, put it to where it's below ground level, and then you put the shell in, and then you put a device over it to set off the shell. It can be as simple as a piece of pipe with a, uh, a, a BB gun pellet glued into a hole you drilled into a washer or a plug you stuck in it. You drop it down, it acts like a slam fire shotgun, and it's much safer that way. And yes, you make it to where it covers the first four inches of the I guess you'd call it the breech end of your plastic barrel or steel barrel, which is what I would use it for experimenting on, or tube. And that way it will definitely cover up a three and a half inch shell all the way down to a small one and give it a little bit of length extra and then really just testing the barrel, uh, the plastic tubing as a barrel liner. The reason I know about this a little bit is testing barrels to destruction with ridiculously overdriven charges. We would set up this sort of piece of equipment, put it in the pit, put a cover over it that was made out of mesh so it wouldn't pull up on the mesh, it would blow through it if it was small, and then another one above it which was made out of uh, plywood that was two pieces put together, and then a couple of boards in front and back, and then we'd close the door and pull a pin that would drop the metal tube down over it, forming a pseudo chamber around our barrel sample, and then set off the shotgun shell. And again, we would be testing barrels that were made deliberately weak, an aluminum barrel or uh, a rifle barrel that hadn't been uh, hardened yet or using deliberately low-grade material. The idea was to just make sure that we didn't get hurt. Some of these things are based on the same thing as a dump area for throwing a potential IED into. Those exist. Uh, look up your bomb squad equipment of your local area. 
this was actually a re-upload he made because uh, this this was uh, the next version that was put up was PVC shotgun will it explode um, versus real PVC pipe 12 gauge shotgun will it explode the the original one was January 14th the one I've described the February month later or more uh, 2015 a roll on such episode. I demonstrate the dangers of using using PVC pipe as a gun barrel. YouTube has age restricted the this the other video, so I changed a couple of things and did this new version. Now that means there's two versions of it, and neither of them I can find. They were exclusively on YouTube. People archived his pages, his 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 videos. There's an archive on archive.org containing most of the stuff, but it's suspiciously missing this. Now. Archive.org may have had a rule that says, hey, you can't do this. Um, okay. But even when I use the attempt to retrieve these videos using a hack at archive.org, they fail to load. It's very odd out of all the other crazy shit this guy did or still does that these two are the ones that are hardest to find. Now, if you're not aware of it, one of the practical-ish applications of using PVC pipe Specifically, Schedule 40 or Schedule 80 tubing and a shotgun shell was this was used as a booby trap by some people in some countries where they would put it into a uh, basically into a ditch you might step into and you might step on it and these were toe poppers um, and they could be made all sorts of ways and also another version of this is a uh, a way of making a safe ish detonator for dynamite that's it, not used for you know shotgun shells, but it uses the primers and it uses a plastic tube. It's the same thing. It's a very similar thing anyway. Anyway, if anybody's curious, uh, I'm dumping this project information here uh, because I couldn't get any further. Now, I tried looking up archive.org details slash YouTube crawl as archive after archive of data, as I mentioned, but this is the thing that came up as someone saying, this is the only way we know of doing it. You get the URL, which is the list of letters and numbers at the end that includes upper lowercase letters, um, underscores, numbers, that sort of thing. It gives them 64 combinations for any one character. And stacking a bunch of them together, you get a fairly large, long number that you may never run out of URLs. Anyway, uh, the specific videos end in um, capital D, 15, W, B, K, lowercase f, and then uppercase B, B, PM, and that's the URL for one of the videos, the older one. And the other URL, since mine's as well listed as well, uh, for the other version of this ended up in YO uppercase BKWCL lowercase f and then uppercase HDU. And you can see how easily I could say that. You can you can interpret it right and get it right most of the time. Those will be listed below. But anyway. How do you retrieve these if they're just a raw binary file? Now, remember, these were done with Flash, JDB Player, all sorts of screwy things. Here we go. Web.archive.org slash web slash 2OE underscore, lowercase in that case, slash, and then as a pseudo URL, it's HTTP, not HTTPS. Maybe I should put that in slash slash wayback dash fake url dot archive dot org slash yt slash and then the id code and i should actually try that with an uh, with an s but anyway but anyway, the reason for this working is really simple when archive dot org would search um let's say uh Twitter or whatever, Twitter obfuscates it. So if it tries to follow it, it runs it through a bunch of JavaScript and then eventually coughs up the answer. After a while, it gets so disconnected with all the loop-de-loops that archive.org would say, okay, I'm archiving binary. The only thing about it is a unique URL at the end of it, and it says that it's a YouTube file, but the real pathway is gone because if you go to a web page like uh, youtube.com slash watch and then something, that's a URL. Well, that's no, that's you're asking YouTube's database to feed you a web page with a lot of data. The video itself originally could have come from an archive, uh, not an archive, a cache file that's uh, called cache on Google Video. Or it could have been Google Video with a time and date stamp. Anyway, archive.org just said to hell with it, just started archiving the files themselves, sometimes from playlists 
a link on Facebook or whatever, but they started doing that. So if somebody shared a video, it might have gotten archived. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to try doing it with the HTTPS instead and see if it brings it up. And I'm doing the one that ends in BBPM, which should be the one that's more likely to be correct. And I hit enter and we see what happens. But the point is, that's the link set you want to use. Last time I checked, and it says the Wayback Machine has not archived that URL. Then again, archive.org will say that even if it has sometimes. And suspiciously, this older version of it, only a little bit, from 2015, the original one that was, again, called Real PVC Pipe 12-Gauge Shotgun, Will It Explode? The January 14th, 2015 version, back in the good old days of YouTube. Um, that video, which, again, is one of two on the subject, and they're the only ones, um, the page acts like it's going to play back which means it probably archived it. And again, archive.org lets you flag things to death and lets YouTube erase things retroactively even though nobody asked for it. It's annoying as hell, but that means at one point or another it really did capture the file. I'm getting a little frustrated with this, and it's actually kind of turning into a Don Quixote-esque, you know, thing. Also, uh, I've got to point out that I have links to all of my YouTube channels and my old content. I've given up on trying to do this project, and instead of storing it on my hard drive, I'm just going to dump it in the comments or the description for this video. So if I ever think it up, I might look up the subject and find my own video. That's the way I've been doing it lately. I have an archive of old videos, if you're curious, from when I did uh, Las Vegas content, Las Vegas shooting analysis, that someone saved, which was nice of them, I'm going to restore that, and I'm trying to restore it on a channel and not get it any views. So I'm going to restore it to a channel that has nobody watching it, so that it doesn't get any page views. After I've done that, I'll make it visible. It'll be yet another WAP Tech channel, because lately YouTube has changed their policies to flag people for shit that was never against the rules before. And they're going to keep doing this until they erase as much shit as possible. So anyway, if you're trying to retrieve old videos that have been archived from archive.org, as far as I know, it's... Again, web.archive.org slash web slash 2OE underscore, but that could have some other combinations. There might be something else. Slash uh, wayback fake URL archive.org to take the place of all the other possible random combinations. And then finally, slash YT for YouTube slash the code for the video because that's unique. And again, that was because they kind of got fed up with YouTube changing how they run their website. And again, I was just trying to find a video that showed what happens when this was done so that people would have it. And again, uh, I would have done it a different way where it was pointed into the ground, but it's okay the way you did it. It should also be pointed out that at the time, Royal Nunsuch was applying for or had permits from the ATF for anything you could come up with, and this was legit testing videos. And more importantly, it made sure people didn't think of doing this. Now I'm seeing people asking me about it. Anyway, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And if anybody knows of where that video was, honestly, I just want a backup copy so I can watch it again because there's a couple of frames in it that showed me something important. If you're not aware of it, the barrel ruptured at resonant points, not just because it wasn't reinforced. If you made the barrel a certain length, it might not have blown up. This is how they do it when they make shotgun barrels. It has to do with resonance effect, part of it. It's just amplified in plastic tubing, which means you can use PVC pipe to find the resonant points for fixing uh, barrel harmonics, maybe for making barrels better. There might be some equation there. I can't find the data. Nobody archived it. <laughs> or if they did, it was erased. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with it. Bye.